Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how to create a bouquet brush hence you could make a glowing light bouquet background so let's get started so first we go to new and then we need to select the width of 1000 pixels height of 1000 pixels resolution of 300 and color mode needs to be grayscale 8 bit and then leave the rest the way I shown here like the background needs to also be transparent then click on OK so we got a square transparent layer to work with what we got to do now is to go to the shapes by right clicking and you can then select ellipse tool and then we can just draw an ellipse just randomly any ellipse and then we need to go to the selection tool and drag the edges of the ellipse to the corners of this square so then we are fitting the circle in a square so it becomes a circle so ellipse become a circle when you fit it to a square so make sure that all the edges are fitted to the sides and not going over it or under it that's really important so double check that once you're happy click on OK then we need to go on the black cursor and then we need to go and change the fill color to black a solid black as it is and then we need to go to the stroke and make it a solid and also change it to black we also need to change the pixel width of the stroke to 20 pixel instead of 20 points so type 20 then px enter that's done and also we need to make sure the alignment is the top one selected so make sure that this option is selected for your alignment so once this is done we are happy with this side of the settings and the next thing we need to do is to go to the layer side and we need to change the opacity from 100 percent to around 50 to 60 so okay 55 sounds good to me so next step would be just to go then to the edit and then here we can just define the brush preset and we can call it bokeh 1000 pixel because i've already created once before so i put one there so i could distinguish between the two this is done So now we can create a new file. I like to go with the standard size of 1920 by 1080. And then here I would like to go with a background that I can glow. So again, we go to shapes, this time rectangular. Just select something here. So select fill and then select purple. Again, you can change it to any other color you want to. So the next thing to do is to go and create a new layer by clicking here and then we need to go and select the brush and make sure that we select the bokeh brush that we just created and then we need to go to the brush preset by going here and here we need to go to brush tab and here you need to go to the first one brush tip shape and you need to check the spacing and bring it to around 170%. So we are done here with that setting. Now we need to go to the shape dynamics. In the shape dynamics, make the size jitter to 100% and also minimum diameter to around 50%. Once that's done, leave the rest as they are. And then we go to the scattering. In the scattering, make sure it's checked. And then you need to make the scatter axis that it will be both side. So check this and then make this to 1000 percentage and then change the control to fade and the fade 5 and change the count to 3 change the count jitter to 21 percent and again change the control to fade and 1 so we are done with this setting of scattering so because we're gonna scatter the circles so then you go to the transfer in the transfer you go to the opacity jitter change it to around 60 to 70 percent glow jitter around 
50 to 70 percent so i put it here 70 percent so we are done with the settings for the brush so go and select the brush and then for color of the brush we want it to be white so select white and then we need to change the size of the brush go around 400 size and then just click here and there to fill the space a bit so that's okay and now we need to go and create a new layer by clicking here in our second layer we will half the size of the brush to make it 200 and then we do the same thing again fill a bit more space check which places are empty and try to click there and once that's done we need to create another new layer and now we need to change it to a bit smaller half of that again around 100 and then fill the spaces areas that you feel are, are emptier and then we create another one a new layer and again half that to 50 or 46 to do and then click here and there okay i think i'm happy with it now so what we've got to do next is to select layer one which is our biggest circles and we need to change the opacity to around i think 40 to 50 40 to 50 percent so then we need to go to the filter and then we need to go to blur and then we go to Gaussian blur and then we select around 15 pixels then say okay you, you can see the bigger circles faded away a bit and then we go second layer and then we go to filter again and we go to blur and select the GB and now we're gonna go around 7% that would do and now the smaller one we're gonna go change the filter to smaller than that one and a half pixels and the last one which was the smallest we go to filter we go to blur and same thing here and we go as small as we can like 0.6 would do so we did them all together looks nice to me to give some touches you can just hit the brush a few times just to make it more shiny if you want to and now we select all the layers together by holding shift and select them all together then right clicking here and then selecting group from layer give it a name you want to then okay and now we want to blend them together the layers so we go here and if you want to give some subtle blending go overlay you can see it's very subtle you don't really notice it as much but if you want to go over the top and make it stand out so you're gonna go and select vivid light i can see this is what i'm talking about this is the bokeh design that i think grabs attention and i hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and if you liked it and it was helpful please don't forget to subscribe i really need to get to that 10,000 subscribers to be able to create more fantastic videos for you guys and please don't forget to watch my other tutorials on photoshop and i hope to see you next time bye bye